100 callers will also receive $250 off the solution you choose from Hair Club. If you want to look better, if you want to feel better about yourself, Hair Club is the way to go. My confidence is back. This is really one of the best decisions I've ever made. We offer a variety of tested solutions, from two types of non-surgical hair replacement we call X-Trans and X-Trans Plus, to several surgical hair restoration options, to multiple treatments that can and will help you regrow your very own hair back. They include our extreme hair therapy program called EXT, which includes the only FDA-approved and clinically studied topical ingredient proven to regrow hair. And we also offer FDA-cleared, low-level light laser therapy, also clinically proven to regrow hair. This is my hair, and it feels great, it feels natural, it's growing, it's strong. Knowing I look good makes me feel more confident. Having my hair back makes me feel fantastic. I love my hair. Call or go online now. For more information, call 1-800-370-0495. That's 1-800-370-0495, or go to joinhairclub.com. Now from the Weather Channel, the National Hurricane Center has declared that uh, Hurricane Florence has officially made landfall. This morning it did so at 7.15 a.m. Eastern Time near Wrightsville Beach. North Carolina came in as a Category 1 90-mile-per-hour hurricane with a pressure of 958 millibars. Again, this is a landfall. It's been declared officially now. Jim Cantori from the National Hurricane Center. The eye wall continues to pound areas yep. just inland right near where you are in uh, Wilmington, North Carolina. Jim. Yes, yeah, so it'll be really interesting to see what happens because, Greg, we watched the winds go and Max. Excuse me, Tracy. Anyway, we saw 92 miles an hour, uh, Greg Postel, there, and the ASOS went down to 32, and now it's failed. So we don't have the data there. We, 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 won't, we might not know what's going on on the backside of that hurricane uh, and just how strong it was, but we know from a reflectivity standpoint, it doesn't look as strong. Uh, Greg, what do you, actually, let me ask you what you think, because your eyes are on the radar. What do you think we're going to get on the backside once it comes up toward Wrightsville again? Well, we just got a report of a Wilmington, that very same ASOS that uh, lost power apparently for a little bit is now back online, reported a wind gust of 105 oh, miles good, per hour good. in the eye wall there on the western side of the center of circulation. So, Jim, uh, ILM, Wilmington, North Carolina, just recently reported a wind gust of 105 miles per hour, and uh, we're continuing to get wow. absolutely hammered wow. by winds of over 90 and even 100 miles wow. per hour across regions. And, uh, Steph? What do you, I mean, does it look like the wind where you are has come down just a little bit? Are you in some of the uh, calmer part of the eye, perhaps? Not yet. Not sure Steph can hear me. Yeah. Cantori, so tell me, have the conditions gotten worse hey, over the last yeah, few minutes oh, where yes. you are? No, I mean, it's, 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 I mean, it's still howling here. It's still howling, and actually, I would say within the last 30 minutes, uh, we've had some of our strongest wind, a little bit more debris, certainly in the parking lot. The water's pretty much uh, filling up down and through here, but it's not coming from the Cape Fear River. Okay, it's not coming from the Cape Fear River. Uh, Steph, again, you're up a couple blocks. You're even a little bit higher than I am. Have you noticed anything about how the wind is going through uh, the buildings in downtown? Is it, has it changed direction at all? You know, Jim, it's hard to tell. I'll say it's, it's really hard to tell. No, I can't tell that we've really fully yeah. changed direction, but Agreed. I do know that we have. Now, you know, that we're getting more of that east wind. Um, we're getting more of a north wind, but it, it, it's too hard to tell with the wind and rain and everything going on. But that 105 mile an hour gust is quite impressive, Jim. And to show you some of the damage that we've gotten, you know, trees yeah. split into uh, street signs. These aren't light. These things are, you know, held on tightly, or you would think that they are. And also, what I thought was interesting, Jim, is that the tree that went down, it took down a street sign, like a parking sign that basically, I can't quite read it, but it says like you can park here Monday through Sunday or whatever it might be. I mean, this is solid metal. And this is not a huge tree, just to give everyone an idea. Yeah. And by the way, this tree went down way early on, Jim, when we were just gusting more in that like 70, 60, 70 mile an hour range. So it doesn't take a lot for damage. And this is why, you know, with a category one, you still have to board up. You still have to board up and be prepared. Absolutely.
Absolutely. You're right, Steph. It's not so much the, 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 the wind and how much you get, it's the debris that comes down. And like you said, it came down when the long before the wind was 105 miles per hour, long before that. Again, guys, this parking lot is filling up with water right now. There's a lot of water in this parking lot uh, as it comes down. Winds are still very gusty here. We are not in any calm uh, whatsoever in downtown Wilmington, even though the center has come over uh, Wrightsville Beach. So that's about 10, 12 miles as the crow flies off to my east-southeast. And the fact that this is moving at five miles an hour, we're still into this. Every once in a while, though, what I've noticed in the past 10 minutes is there does seem to be, seem to be a little let up in the wind. So it gusts and then it lets up a, just a hair. So maybe something, uh, if you will, kind of getting on the inside of that eye wall. Other than that, it's still very, very heavy rain. As you the storm Jim. moves rest, so goes the heavier rainfall. We're starting to fill up those watersheds. Go ahead, Steph. I, I got some bad news for you. Um, looking Go at ahead, the Steph. radar, the eye is kind of collapsing. And so it looks like we're going to stay in that eye wall the entire time by the looks of this radar. It looks like the eye it's just going to stay to the south of us. It looks like a Mason Borough and Myrtle Grove are the ones getting the eye, and we're going to stay in this eye wall, unfortunately, the whole time, which is bad news. Let's go to Dr. Purcell and talk more about that. Dr. Purcell, again, things like this, a mailbox or a business, go flying off, you're not boarded up, it can bounce right into your window. But let's talk about that eye kind of collapsing in, and I'm assuming that has to do with the friction of the land. Yeah, there's part of the circulation, about half of it is over land, so it's, you know, feeling these asymmetries and it's beginning to wobble like a top as a top begins to spin down. But the important point is that destructive winds are still inside this eye wall right in here. We just noted that Wilmington getting a wind gust of 105 miles per hour. And Steph is exactly right, which is what we were talking about an hour ago, that we were starting to see the signs that perhaps the circulation center is beginning to take that dive toward the west and west-southwest, which would parallel it along the coast, maybe just inland a little bit bringing all the hazards with it southwestward from there so we got to watch out for what happens in areas down the coast southport all the way to myrtle beach south carolina be prepared for the approach of hurricane florence does this map show the peninsula trail you won't find that on a map i'll take you there Take this left. If you listen real hard, you can hear the whales. Oh. Hear that? Our Subaru Outback lets us see the world. <laughs> Sometimes in ways we never imagined. The military uses new LED chip technology to light important operations. Now you can use that same technology to light your home. Hi, I'm Hunter Ellis, and this is Atomic Beam Sunblast, the new solar-powered light that's super bright. Atomic Beam Sunblast lets you add a light anywhere. No wires, no pliers. Just stick it up. The industrial adhesive mounts to almost any surface instantly. And the atomic solar panels charge the built-in lithium-ion battery quickly, even on a cloudy day. That means no electricity bill and no batteries to replace. Then the 180 degree motion sensor turns on the light when you get near and automatically turns off the light when you disappear. This state of the art sensor can detect movement from up to 25 feet away. So it's a great security light too. Look, here's a best selling outdoor solar light and here's the super bright atomic beam sunblast. Just look at the difference. And our unique wide angle design covers much more ground lighting the sides as well as in front. Stick it up on the garage and it turns on when you pull in, then turns off when you're gone. The heavy duty construction is weatherproof, so it shines bright all year round. And the super bright LED flat panels can last a lifetime without burning out. Get the super bright atomic beam sunglass today for only $19.99. But wait, call right now and you can get a second atomic beam sunblast plus our best selling atomic beam flashlight. The super bright tech Tactical flashlight that lights up an entire room and can take a beating. Just pay a separate fee. That's two atomic beam sunblasts and the atomic beam flashlight. So light up the night with atomic beam sunblast. Call now. Call 1-800-741-5104. That's 1-800-741-5104. Or visit by sunblast.com. So call 1-800-741-5104. Order now. 
It's time to refinance your student loans. You can go to one lender and hope for a good rate, or a site with multiple lenders that give you rate guesstimates and sell your data, so you're swamped with sales calls. Don't gamble. Refinance at Credible.com and compare actual rates, not guesstimates, from top lenders without affecting your credit score. You could save on average $250 a month, and they never sell your data. Visit Credible.com before your next payment is due. When the world is watching and you need your logo to be perfect, you need certainty. At 4imprint, we give you the ultimate guarantee. Because when something has your logo on it, it matters to you, your customers, your coworkers, and to us. Our wide selection always changes to keep up with the latest trends. But there is one thing we deliver that's timeless. Certainty. Explore thousands of promotional products at 4imprint.com. 4imprint. For certain. Breaking news for the National Hurricane. All the rain in the forecast created the opportunity for the perfect crime. Storm of Suspicion premieres October 7th. Currently in our area, 67 degrees under clear skies. Today, a good deal of sunshine. High, 90. Winds south at 10 to 15 miles per hour. Tonight, mainly clear. Low, 69. Winds southeast at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Saturday, except for a few afternoon clouds, mainly sunny. High, 89. Winds southeast at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Here's our seven day outlook. Yeah, good morning, everyone. As we are in the heart of uh, Florence right now, looking at live pictures at New Bern, North Carolina. Big problems there. We've had over 200 water rescues and there's potentially another 100 that are in need of rescue. So that is an emergency situation, to say the least, that is going on there. Here we have an official landfall at Wrightsville Beach as of 7.15 this morning, so says the Hurricane Center. And with, uh, again, this thing coming ashore with 105 mile per hour winds uh, just in the last hour in Wilmington, North Carolina. That's the highest gust in 60 years. You gotta go back to 1958 in Hurricane Helene, where we gusted to one 35. And interestingly enough, we actually have a Helene this year. So these F storms have been really hammering North Carolina. Interesting at that. All right, guys, again, uh, where I'm standing at, down near the Cape Fear River, even though the parking lot is full of water here, uh, it is not lapping over the boardwalk. All right, because the winds are generally out of the north. But they're starting to switch a little bit. We've gone from a little bit northeast to more northerly now, but that's still pushing the water back down. It's pushing it out. So we've had two inches of rain, or actually over two inches of rain, in the last hour and a half. It's not surprising, uh, certainly, that we're getting as much as six to eight inches of water here uh, in this parking lot. And frankly, that's why they had everybody move. They had everybody move off of Water Street. How apropos, right? and move up to where Steph is, a couple of blocks uh, up into town. But basically, you go from the river up the hill, and that's where the town is. All right, that is where the town is. All right, Tracy, do we have Brandon yet at all? We do not have Brandon. Okay, so guys, what we're waiting on at this point, uh, we want to get a live report from what's going on uh, in, in, the, in, the, in the New Bern area because of uh, such a you know, dire situation there. Amazing that we've had 200 water rescues already and, and we have potentially another 100 in line. That's just incredible to me when you think about it. That was an area that was asked to evacuate. It was an area that we've been talking about for three and a half days that would maximize the surge. And regardless of the category, nothing ever changed with that. So I'm, I'm very, very surprised, uh, certainly, that that is the case. All right, Trace, we got him. All right, let's go to Brandon Clement, uh, New Bern. Brandon, give us an update on what you know in terms of rescues and, and, and what's left to be done. What's what's the situation there? Devastating here. The, the water levels are just all through the city really deep. 
Uh, you can see the high water marks where it really came in, probably 10 to 15 foot of surge with waves on top of that. I know there were hundreds of people looking to be rescued last night. I talked to a city official who was, uh, you know, he came to me asking for help. He's like, look, get the word out that we need help. Uh, they got the, the Cajun Navy and uh, a group from Texas and a group from uh, from New York here trying to help. Uh, they're doing a lot of search and rescue. Um, don't know how many people they've rescued, how many more people they have left to go. I just know it's a really bad situation looking down through here. Um, just, just turn around, look at the marina. The I, boats are just smashed so, up yeah, and so, demolished. So, Brandon, Brandon, have you noticed that uh, the waters come down a little bit uh, in that area? Because oh, we are heading toward low tide. Yeah, it's actually come down quite a bit. So we're coming towards low tide, coming off high tide, plus the storm's moving off to the, to the west a little bit, so it's getting a little bit farther away. It's giving some relief. But we've had such long-term periods of wind blowing into here that it's going to take a very long time for this water to get out. All right, what are you seeing going on, Brandon? Are you still seeing boats, jet skis, whatever, going toward people's homes, trying to get them out? What are you seeing? Uh as of just a little while ago, yes, they were deploying boats, trying to get people out. I didn't actually see them pull anybody out. Uh, the flooding is just so extensive that getting to the deep part, deep part requires a boat. Uh, right now, I'm watching white caps, you know, come across the, the convention center boulevard and Front Street. What is your situation? Are you in the water, surrounded by water? Are you up high? Tell us where you are. I'm good. I'm on a bridge right now. I've uh, I've, I've got exit points. I've, I've marked all my exit points when I'm coming in, and I check them frequently. The water's receding right now, so I know I'm good. Uh, you know, I'll continually move around, but I keep myself safe. I've been doing this for, for quite some time, so I'm, right. I'm, in, I'm in good shape. I know you are, buddy. We've talked to you before, and we certainly appreciate uh, the update there. Stay safe, Brandon. We'll check back with you later. So, guys, think about it. Brandon's on the Noose River. All right, and what's been happening is the east wind has been pushing the water in. So, you know, last night was high tide. Uh, it was raining already. Any water that was coming down out of the sky had no way of getting out. So it just came up and came up and came up uh, over 10 feet in some cases. So when we give those surge and inundation maps, that does represent a worst case scenario. That's exactly what we expected there. And that's exactly what they got. All right. Uh, again, guys, I'm kind of looking at these treetops uh, down in the parking lot near the ballast. We've had a couple of these little, I don't know, decorative balls come out of the uh, out of the tree uh, from time to time. A few of the limbs have broken off, but the wind overall uh, is still very, very gusty here. No signs of any kind of center or weakening. The wind has come down a little bit. We've had landfall. Florence coming ashore, 715, Wrightsville Beach. We'll be back. your AC busted, computer crashed, appliance broken, then you need ARW, American Residential Warranty. Hi, it's me, Anthony Sullivan. And yes, you've actually caught me at home relaxing because life's been pretty worry-free since I got coverage with American Residential Warranty. Home appliance repairs and replacement can cause stress and cost you over $3,000 per year. But starting at less than a dollar a day, ARW has home warranty plans that cover household appliances, systems, and electronics. Parts and labor included. When I needed ARW, they were there. My oven actually took a dive in the middle of making a big dinner for family and friends, picked up the phone, called ARW, they repaired it, dinner saved, that easy. My air conditioning broke on a Sunday. It was so hot, I called ARW and they came out and fixed it right away. You won't believe what ARW covers. Heating and air conditioning, washers and dryers, kitchen appliances, plumbing, water heaters, electrical systems, even pools and spas, and so much more. All you have to do is call or go to getahomeplan.com. Plus, ARW's partner with Assurian to offer protection for all your new and used household electric Electronics for just one low price. I dropped my laptop and ARW replaced it with a brand new one and all I paid was a small service fee. All plans are fully customizable and come with a 30-day money-back guarantee. Call now and get a home security system valued at $1,250 free with any plan. And you can trust ARW to be there when you need it. Just call ARW and a licensed technician will be dispatched to your home. All covered repairs are guaranteed. My refrigerator broke and not only did ARW repair it fast, they even sent me a reimbursement check for all the food that went bad. So come on, relax. Stop worrying about unexpected breakdowns and costly repairs. Call American Residential Warranty. They'll get you covered. 
call 1-800-991-6311. Again, that's 1-800-991-6311 or log on to getahomeplan.com today. I'm Chris and I lost 120 pounds on Nutrisystem. Introducing Nutrisystem for men. For a limited time, save 40% off every program. It's so simple. You eat the food, you lose the weight. Lose up to 18 pounds and 8 inches overall your first month. Lose weight fast. Money back, guaranteed. I lost 10 pounds my first week. I lost 20 pounds the first month. I lost 105 pounds eating pizza, ice cream, burgers. It's not that hard. You eat the food and you lose the weight. Order now and save 40% off every program. Plus, get one week of all new NutriPro shakes packed with 20 grams of protein to help shrink your gut free. I love the food. The meals are so so satisfying. The food is perfect for guys like me who don't like to cook. It's not that hard, buddy. You eat the food, you lose the weight. You eat the food, you lose the weight. That's what guys want. Keeping it simple. Go online or call 888-634-DIET and get free shakes plus save 40% off every program. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, yeah. We're expecting to see a very, a, a tremendous storm surge that could be catastrophic. This whole tree just crashed down because that water is just not going to have anywhere to go. It just needs to be you, whatever you have on, and your pets, and they need to be ready to go now. Welcome back into our continuing coverage here at the Weather Channel Hurricane Florence, which has made landfall if you're just joining us. 715 Wrightsville Beach, a Category 1, uh, winds at 90 miles an hour. That pressure, 958 millibars, only the fourth lowest pressure on record here uh, in Wilmington uh, that we've ever had recorded. Also, the first hurricane to make landfall since in the state since Arthur in 2014. Our wind gusts here in Wilmington, 105 miles an hour, second strongest ever recorded wind gusts uh, here. The only one higher than that was during Hurricane Helene, 135 mile per hour wind gusts. That was in 1958. We've had four and a half inches of rain here. 400,000 are without power in North Carolina. Now we also have a breaking situation we've been following in New Bern in the overnight hours. We want to go to Gene Hodge, uh, who is with the Craven County, with Craven County, and talk about the rescues. Gene, we've heard so far over 200 people rescued. Uh, more than 100 are still trying to get rescued. Can you update our numbers and let us know the very latest with the rescue situation? That's it. You've got the latest information that I've had available. Uh, we know we've got a hundred, uh, little, little more than a hundred calls out right now that we're trying to uh, to affect. Um, we're working with five Switchwater rescue teams, and uh, we actually have some volunteers that have also joined in the efforts to help. So, have you had any injuries that you've heard of with these rescues that have been ongoing? Uh, none that we've heard. Uh, we're trying to get everybody uh, out as quickly and as safely as we can and to get them into shelters uh, as quickly as possible. So what's happening with the water right now? There were some reports that the water was dropping just a touch. Um, have you seen that or heard of anything with that? Uh, from my uh, visual evidence, what I've been able to see, um, because we've got some cameras and some strategic places, we have seen the water go down. Some, a lot of that has to do with the change, uh, with the tidal change. Uh, we hit high tide around 11.30 last night, and uh, we're looking to probably have, an, uh, I think high tide happens again in about uh, another three and a half hours. So what do people, if they do need to be rescued, I know power is out for a lot of people, but if someone can text a loved one in the situation, who should they call? What do they need to know? We need to call into our emergency services uh, center here. Uh, the number is 252-636-6608. Uh, We've got uh, dozens of talk takers in here that can uh, then uh, put it on the log, and then we can start trying to work on getting them dispatched as quickly as possible. How about curfews? Will there be a curfew in place? Uh, we out. Uh, yeah, there is a curfew. Uh, Craven County has just extended their county-wide curfew uh, from 8 a.m. Friday until uh, 8 p.m. Uh, to 8 p.m. Friday, uh, September 14th. So we've extended our curfew to go from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. Uh, today, September 14th. Yeah. All right. Well
Well, we certainly appreciate you coming on this morning, and we'll continue to check back on with you guys. As this is a situation that started yesterday afternoon with the water coming up, and it's all about wind direction. And so they were getting that east wind, and that wind was just pushing ashore here. I mean, what's so remarkable is this tree that I'm standing in. We don't have enough slack here on our cord for me to get out of it, so I ended up standing in it. This tree went down before we got those 105 mile per hour wind gusts. It snapped in two. Okay, this is when we had winds gusting more in that 70 mile per hour range. So this is the type of damage that we are seeing around um, Wilmington, I mean downtown Wilmington. We're, I would say, about 20 feet up from the Cape Fear River where we have yet to see any flooding again because where we are located, we have that north wind. Though we have seen, you know, reports of three to eight inches around. I don't know if the microphone could pick that up or not, um, but what you're hearing there is sheet metal. There's been some sheet metal flying around. Uh, you could hear it, and there's been, you know, little debris. But if you don't board up your business, if you don't board up your home, a little piece like that can hit, and, you know, your window can be out, and then you get the rain in, and it's an, an utter complete mess. So that's why it is so important to always board up and always, you know, evacuate when you're told to do so. But thankfully, the winds have calmed down a little bit, uh, I will say, as of late. So let's bring in Dr. Postel. I'm going to pull up my phone so I can check out the radar. But Dr. Postel, I'm sure you can confirm. I'm guessing, is that eye slowing down? Um, i got to pull the radar. Can, let, let's talk about what's been happening and, and what we're going to see, how much longer this is going to last. Well, Steph, as we thought an hour ago what might happen, the eye has now, the center of circulation now started to move southwestward parallel to the coast. Look at these last movements. Now this is critical because it's going to keep areas in uh, just inland in the very dangerous uh, western eye wall with wind gusts we've seen at Wilmington already at 105 miles per hour. Perhaps some of the strongest winds have moved just south of Wilmington but getting into Southport of course in areas everywhere in between. This is one of those situations that now we're starting to watch this eye will take a path like that or the eye and that is paralleling the coast and that will keep half of its circulation over water. So in some sense, it's not going to weaken as quickly as if it moved inland all, you know, in a one fell swoop. This is now sort of paralleling the coast, keeping very heavy rain and very strong winds with many locations, even hundreds of miles from the center, essentially, or 100 miles or so. Let's go up the coast to show you what's happening in uh, central North Carolina. We've got New Bern getting heavy rain. We've seen them already report as much as 8 to 12 inches of rain nearby, and it's gonna, we're going to get a lot more than that, maybe another foot of rain. That's certainly possible in some of these locations where there is a flash flood emergency right now for many counties, including Carteret County in North Carolina. So the rain continues. The risk for tornadoes continues far removed from the center. There's the uh, tornado watch that's out. And I want to give everybody a forecast here to show you what is likely to happen with Florence as we go down the line over the next couple of hours. So beginning this morning with Florence paralleling the coast, maybe just a little bit farther inland than this, what this is showing. But here's the point. 7.30 tonight, so basically 12 hours from now, we're still going to be dealing with a center of circulation and very damaging winds near that center in southern North Carolina still, 12 hours from now. And far removed from the center, northeast of Wilmington, over towards New Bern still, Jacksonville, maybe even Fayetteville just to the northwest, we're going to see very heavy rain and a strong onshore wind leading to significant storm surge flooding throughout the day especially at the high tide cycles, which will be, again, later on this afternoon in some places, overnight tonight, and again tomorrow morning, several high tide cycles. We're going to see significant inundation, even exacerbated. But check this out. Tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock, still, maybe somewhere near Myrtle Beach will be the center of circulation. The winds will be weaker tomorrow than they are now, no doubt about that. There, but there will be damaging wind gusts, probably 50 to 75 miles per hour, still, in some of those heaviest rain bands that move in off the coast. That's enough wind to bring down trees. Certainly any power poles that haven't been brought down may be weakened and still being brought down tomorrow morning. Very heavy rain continuing in many locations. Freshwater flooding continuing in many locations. And of course, storm surge inundation from the coast as well with that powerful onshore wind. This is going to be with us for 24 to 36 more hours at least as this thing continues to slow and almost to a crawl, and really move basically southwestward parallel to the coast until maybe later on tomorrow afternoon when then we think it'll start to get picked up and moved toward the west, which unfortunately brings heavy rain farther to the west, interior North Carolina and South Carolina as well. We have a long way to go with this. And I'm getting word from my producer. 
All right, so let's talk about how much rain we think is yet to come. When we think about going out in time here, about another, say, I don't know, 24 to 36 hours, this rainfall map goes through Tuesday, but the bulk of this will come down likely through the next, say, as I said, 12 to 36 hours. We're talking locations might get as much as 12 to 24 inches in some locations. And this does include Raleigh. It includes Charlotte. All the way as far west as Asheville. Charleston, South Carolina, you're going to get a lot of rain as well. So freshwater flooding is going to be a continued threat for days to come yet with the slowed progress of Hurricane Florence as it continues to move inland. And again, the damaging wind threat cannot be underestimated because it is right now doing significant damage to the infrastructure all up and down the North Carolina coast. And if you're just tuning in, we were getting reports of wind gusts over 100 miles per hour in Wilmington very recently. They've now kind of slowed down a little bit, the winds in the region, but that's because... The center of circulation is moving a little bit farther away now from Wilmington. Maybe some good news there that the worst of the wind is over, but it is getting worse in places like Southport, in Little River, in uh, Whiteville. You can just go on down the line. Watch out, Myrtle Beach. Some of the edge of Hurricane Florence bringing with it that heavy rain and damaging wind is moving your way.